What's up guys, welcome to Echo Productions, I'm Silas Willoughby and today I want to take a quick look at how I edit my audio and how you can make yours sound better quickly in Adobe Audition. Alright, so I've already got Audition open and my file imported and you're going to start by hitting the letter T so you have the time selection tool open. Then you're going to need to highlight a section of the noise you want to remove, specifically a section without dialogue. And you may need to zoom in here so you can see a bit better. To do this, hit the equal symbol on your keyboard. Once you've selected it, go up to Effects, Noise Reduction, Capture Noise Print, and then hit OK. Next, zoom back out and select your entire file and go up to Effects, Noise Reduction, this time actually choosing Noise Reduction, and then make sure you're at 75% and hit Apply for now. And that should clean up all the unwanted noise from your audio. Next, still leaving all of your audio selected, go to Effects, Filter and EQ, Graphic Equalizer 20 Bands, and each EQ depends on your own personal voice, this is just what I do for mine. Basically, you're making both the ends go up, no higher than 15 however, and coming down lower a bit on both of the very ends. This raises both your bass and treble to really clean up your audio and make it nice and crispy. It's like color correction, but for your audio. You may need to apply the denoiser again after this. Finally, I want to apply compression to make my waveforms more balanced. So again, select your entire clip, go up to Effects, Amplitude and Compression, Single Band Compressor, then set your threshold at negative 12, the ratio at 7 to 1, attack at 70 ms, release at 75, and output gain at 0. This isn't going to give you a perfect compression, however, because I like mine to have a bit more gain to it, since a perfect even voice throws me off a bit. But it will tweak the really low parts and the really high parts and overall give you more balanced audio. As you can see, I've got some really smooth waveforms and a nice clean noise pattern. The last thing I want to do is normalize my audio, because I don't want to be that one guy with the really quiet video. To do this, go to Effects, Amplitude and Compression, and then Normalize. Then hit Apply, and you should have some nice, even, loud, clear audio. Here is a before and after, and I have raised the level of both clips so the before isn't really quiet. All the audio in the movie should be evaluated carefully at the start of sound editing. Is the dialogue clear and easy to understand? Is there objectable wind or other noises that interfere with the dialogue? Go through the tracks and cut out any noise, pops, or clicks that you can, and usually any breaths before or after words that aren't part of the actor's performance. All the audio in the movie should be evaluated carefully at the start of sound editing. Is the dialogue clear and easy to understand? Is there objectable wind or other noises that interfere with the dialogue? Go through the tracks and cut out any noise, pops, or clicks that you can, and usually any breaths before or after words that aren't part of the actor's performance. Alright, so as you can see, editing your audio is really important. It's at least as important as color grading is to video. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Anyway, this has been Echo Productions. I'm Silas Willoughby, and I'll see you in the next one.